So hopefully I was able to get some good footage there of the swim with the whales. And I'll tell you, it was a really magical experience. It was so, um, was something you're never going to get to do before. And we were very lucky because in our group, we got quite close to those two big ones. But seeing the mother asleep with her calf next to her as well, God, it was just absolutely magical. So when we got off the boat, we had a choice to go back 45 minutes to Ned's campground where we'd stayed the night before, or to come towards Karajini, which is where we're heading to, to next, which is today, because I'm filming this the morning after the whale shark. And from Ned's campground, it was nine hours. So we thought, well, we might as well go forward. So we took a bit of a chance, and I've got to show you this place. This is my first station that we've stayed on while we've been here, and um, it's an old sheep station. And uh, I'm going to show you around because it's pretty cool. Now, when we got here last night, we pulled into here. Well, we came from out on the road there, where they're all going now. And we came up to reception. Now, it said on the gate as we were coming in, no vacancies. But I was like, yeah, but I'm sure they've got a campsite here. And that's probably just talking about the homestay. Anyway. They were very good. They said, oh, you already got a little one. Yeah, we'll find you a space. Which was a relief, really, because it was getting dark. And uh, I needed to, look, needed to get somewhere. Anyway, so then you come in here, and here we are at Bulora Station. Bulora Station. Now, it's got a cow there, but I haven't seen a single cow, but I've seen a lot of sheep. And... You know, it's obviously a working station still. Now, the old wool shed has been made into this bar over here. So we've got a, a bar here. Opens 4.30 to 8.30. By the time we got here, I found a shower. It was bedtime. <laughs> so here's a close look at the wool shed. And look, they have a stage made from an old... Very cool. So when we arrived, uh, we came into reception. They booked us in, and then we had to come and just park and wait here. It says camp host, meet and greet. Please wait here. And Snowy on his push bike, he comes along and he shows us where to go. So he cycled in front of us and took us to our pitch. Now, when I came looking for my shower, I'm sure I came to the wrong one, and I ended up all the way down here. I'll just quickly show you the showers, because they're quite, well, it's quite a pleasant shower, to be honest. I went in this one. Look, it's huge. Space to hang your stuff, hot water, cold water, sink. After being in the sea all day, oh gosh, it was a beautiful shower. And you can actually stay here, but they have that motel room. Oh, I'm very impressed with this place. We could actually stay here longer. Wow. This little area here is, look at this. <laughs> All this old machinery. And then look at this, this is so, I've got this, I love this quirky stuff. They've got a bottle tree. Thanks for a great time. So you can write your message on your bottle and hang it on the tree. Oh, I love that. And they have a camp kitchen here. 
I've got a fridge, I've got the sinks, an oven, lots of pans, I have to say. Oh, we've got loads of things in here as well, look. Barbecue, plenty of space to fish, uh, fish, to cook. I'd say it's one of the best camp kitchens I've seen. And they have these open air bathrooms. That's so cool. Oh, one of the staff was just uh, had a chat with me and took my camera and took a picture of me in the in the sculptures. Everybody's so lovely here. I have to say, this is a marvellous camp. So if you're ever passing through, I absolutely recommend Bulura Station Camp. So it's on the road into Exmouth, past Coral Bay. And you could actually stay here, and that's what he was saying. A lot of people stay here, and from here, just go out to Coral Bay for the day, or go out to Exmouth for the day. But honestly, one of the most comfortable camps I've been to. And when we woke up this morning, there were sheep all around our camp. <laughs> and the only thing I will say, it was very dark here when I went for my shower. So I do bring a torch, and I did get a bit lost getting back to my camp. But I got there in the end. But, yeah, no, I absolutely recommend it. And then, like I say, they have little homestay accommodations as well. So if you're driving and you just want somewhere comfortable to sleep, this is a, this is a great option. Hmm, definitely. So we're now off to Karajini. It's about an eight-hour drive. Uh, so we'll just be taking that in turns. But, uh... Until, until I get there, look at our camp, isn't it lovely? So we are on our way to Karajini and we've stopped at Par Parabudu and this is the memorial to the famous Red Dog and he was the one that walked for miles and miles. Oh, keep looking. So you don't like to see what else there is. See what else there is? Right, so we're in Tom Price on the way to Karajini. You want that pretty sausage roll you just saw, don't you? Mm. <laughs> and what a lovely town. It's like all this green space. So far we've been driving, what, about six hours? So we reckon we've got another 40 minutes or so to get to Karachini. 50. 50 minutes. Mm. But we made good time, actually, so I'm quite happy with that. Oh, you could have got your bread here. Uh, he wants a sausage roll, so back we go. But that wasn't too bad a drive. It's just long, long straight roads. It's very hot here, it's what, 34 degrees? No. So we decided, we should, after such a long drive, which we haven't finished yet, we should treat ourselves to fish and chips. So here we are. Oh, he's a bit spicy. It's an after kick. Fish and, <laughs> Fish and chips, and who's got chicken wings? And I've got a spring roll. We're just sitting in the park. It's lovely here. Yeah, I think we need to worry about lunch more because if we're staying local, we're just around the corner, we'll just have whatever we want for lunch. Yeah.
That's our quick pit stop to huh? have fun, kids. Talking to the camera. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Good fun. Well, well, I was saying, I was talking to both then. Where are we going to put the shopping? Oh, yeah. So, at least that was Tom Price. And we're stopping at because it's got a coals. And it's a nice, nice little spot. And they've got another park across the road. Great little place. But like I say, we're stopping. Get your diesel, although we did get it in the other town. And um, something to eat and before we get into Karajini. And here we have arrived at Karajini. We're just driving to our campsite now. Keep going. Well, keep going. Oh. Absolutely beautiful here, but apparently a lot of snakes about. Much I wouldn't want to be in one of those at the and moment. Dingoes. And dingoes, just got to be careful of snakes and dingoes. And the grasses, the funny Oh, a, what does she call it? Because I said, what are those? Spin. Spin flex or spin something. Spin flex grass. Yeah, the grass. She said, just don't touch it. And then you give you a reaction. So mm. when you walk into the bar, don't go cross touch. So this one, hang on, hang on, I know. Yeah, no, that's no. us down there. Oh, 70 to 95? Yeah, we're number 77. Which will be... Oh, oh, it's one way anyway. 70 who? 77. 70? Well, one, so the shower blocks and toilets are there. Alright, keep going. Uh, yep. So, hang on, 73. 73. Oh, I don't know. How are they getting to this? 74, 75, 76. What's that one? Nothing written there. See that one? What? Oh, there it is. There we are. <laughs> oh, here's our campsite. Right, which way do we want it to face that way, do we? Yeah, we want as okay, much sun on as possible. Which way does it open that way, isn't it? Yeah, to get... Well, at least we're surrounded by the poisonous grass, so we should be all right. This... I don't want to hear it. Stop it. I'm, it. I'm moaning because I didn't know we was coming to a danger war zone in, in the Viet Cong or something. I don't know what's going on here. Where's his sense of adventure? <laughs> oh, dear Lord, it's hot here. 34 degrees. And putting that blooming camper up, <sighs> sweltering. So I'm here under the fan. Just trying to cool down a little bit. And then I can take you and show you Karajini, where we're staying. So we're staying at the Eco, Eco Lodge. What's it called? Blue Eco what? Eco Retreat. Um, very nice. It's quite a walk for us to go up to reception from here, which is nice because we're quite spread out from everybody in the campsite. Oh, flipping heck. It's been hot all day, but I don't know what it was. It was just putting that camp up. Oh, God. So I'm drinking all my water, and then when I got my breath back and my body temperature was regulated itself, I'll take you around the campsite. 